Alright, so Michael and Billy Ray start the Ice Climbers Falco matchup. Just keep up the shield pressure and the shines to keep them separated. Looks like he opts to separate them, especially by going after Nana. Successfully got Nana off of the first stock, so Wobbling's not a factor anymore. But so far, still dangerous, especially for fast fallers. The chain grabs the Lord. Looks like he's just trying to knock away his approaches with down smashes. Seems to be working out for him. Goes for an unsafe back air and gets pushed off the stage for the next stop. Alright, looks like part of Falco's anti grabbing options don't work out. Putting in a lot of work on this Nana and making sure Popo not, knows not to stay near him. It's still so bad for Ice Climber sometimes trying to get back against characters who cover so many options. Yeah, the best thing you have is the air dodge, but if they scout that out, you're gone. That's the next stock. What's happening right now? I like, I like this Falco keeping himself safe from the grass by staying all the way up at the platform. He doesn't even, he doesn't even want to be on the same level as them, which is really the only way you can get grabbed. Right, so Ice Pies is making something happen off the tech chase and the edge guard. Where are they gonna go? Up high, but he doesn't cover it. He doesn't even cover anything, to be honest. You know, I think he's lost some of the stage, and Nana's gone. Yeah, so I like the fact that Spago keeps opting to, to get Nana out of there as soon as possible. It's really the most effective way to deal with all the Ice Climbers grabs for Nana again. That and staying away from them like this. He keeps staying on the... the Billy keeps staying on center stage, while, while Michael is just staying away from him on the platforms and grabs just aren't a factor anymore. Yeah, I think once you just completely take away the Ice Climbers grab, it's not really too much they can do if you platform camp them like this. Yeah, so Ben's gonna have to find a way to get close to this Falco. Otherwise, he's just gonna get pushed around. Like, like what's been happening all game, really? Aw, oh, man. Unfortunate that he got separated from Nana right there. But it's alright, we always get, have game two in the counter pick. Alright, the Dreamland. I wonder what he's going for with this counter pick. Maybe he wants a, a little bit more space. But it seems like Falco's just running in circles around him. So that's on a stage and just take going to town on Netta. I wanna I wanna see. Oh man, he missed an opportunity to down throw into something great. Another tech chase. He misses it. Now Falco's back on the offensive. He's in a decent spot now. Uh, got, got lucky getting away with that side beat. Alright, now it started. Oh no, he's a little bit too late. Down smash. Yeah, it seems like every single time Billy gets him an opportunity, he goes to town with it. Like right there. Oh! A little south. Yep. Going right back to the platform. Oh, a little bit too late. That F smash. But now they're separated again. He needs to get back to Nana. Nice attempt. Good edge guard. Yep, got those done. Oh man. It's, it's still fine though. Bobo still has chain grabs and, and tech chase with the Lord. Yep, right there. Oh, but he waved that back when he checked in place. I'm gonna get back up. Nice get up attack. We're gonna be too close. Up. Alright, so he's back in there. Still has a chance to, to do some work with the Popo. Catch the land and go down smash, and now he's in a bad spot. Falco pushing him back out again. Uh, what's too far for that read? Oh uh, no, Billy's way too far away to punish anything that Falco can do in that situation. What do you gotta grab now? I feel like he's missing some of these tech cases because he keeps wave dashing out way too far. And he keeps giving Falco an opportunity, and you never want to give any face that animal an opportunity. He's gonna load the count on you. 
probably getting Nana out there really quick. Yeah. I really don't play Ice Primers too much, but he needs to find some way to keep Nana with him. Because Sparkle's game plan is just sending Nana right off, and then he has a much easier time doing it. Uh, he's a reset, but doesn't realize it fast enough to get the forward smash. Then it's back in the center of it. This is all for one down dash attack. Rolls in wide decision. Alright, now you gotta now you gotta work with the stock. Nope, and that's it. Alright, so the last stock situation, but we have both climbers. Anything can happen. Oh man, just went around the around the setup with the platform. Safe back airs and shield pressure with down air shines. Yeah, man, he's going straight after Nana. Like he always does. Alright, Nana saved. Oh, and he misses a punish on Nana, which he could have still got her. Alright, it's happening. Yep, here's the wobble. Just one wobble and we're back in it. Let's hope he doesn't drop it. Oh yeah, he has to wobble him for extra percent. He's on the other side of the stage. No, no, he's good. One stock situation, but that wobble is still online because he has this banana really healthy. She's in a bad spot. Oh no, no, no. Back together. Oh, Ned is putting in the back row work. But he misses the edge guard because he's way too far away. Respecting a little too much, I think. And the low part. Oh no. Nope, he's good, he's good, he's fine. Alright, dash attack to back air. Nope, a little too late on the follow up. Oh, I'm just gently floats on by. He still, he still has it. He still has a chance to do much. Grab him, get a down throw. Tech chase can be horrible for Fako. Almost had a chance there, but. Fako just slipped right out. Oh, that would be a nice recovery if it was with Neta, but so much end lag on that move. Nice ledge dash. So Fako just got out of the approach, down tilt, the end of the game.